Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I have a little update before we get into the actual tutorial. You can skip ahead if you like, the timestamps are in the description. So as you're probably wondering, why haven't you uploaded in such a long while? Well, <laughs> I travelled to Denmark and stayed there with my boyfriend for two months. I'd never been to Denmark before or I'd never really travelled before because I have severe anxiety. I got there with like one anxiety attack, so yay me, I'm like super proud. <laughs> and I had the best two months of my life. I'll insert some clips and pics right now. But yeah, I will be traveling back hopefully in January, but I'm gonna schedule some videos to upload for when I'm there, so I don't leave my channel for two months again. I, I hope you didn't mind me going for so long and not uploading <laughs> and, and not replying to comments. But I'm gonna reply to comments right now, now I'm not busy. That's that and let's get into the tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to add specular and normal maps to your creations. This is for objects only but big shout out to Memphis Creations on Sims 4 Studio for saving my work. <laughs> I ran into a problem whilst creating and I had no idea how to fix my item. I created some of these mason jars and they kept getting weird lines down the side. So I went to Sims 4 Studio and posted there and this person told me about specular and normal maps. I'd just been making them blank. Don't do that guys because I had no idea about this. I've made my own maps and kind of figured out how to make things metallic also by using the specular maps and uh, messing around with them a little bit. It's so simple and I had no clue. <laughs> uh, this is gonna make your creations look 10 times better. Once I added the specular and normal maps, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> my creations look hella good. <laughs> so, import everything that you need to import here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then go over to my previous video, how to create CC and learn everything there. And then once you're finished there, come back to here. Then we'll go over to warehouse and you see these three files here. So the first one will always be the texture file. The second one is a normal slash bump map. And the third one is a specular map for your lighting or where the light hits. I've created my own normal maps and specular maps. They are um, 1024 by 1024. That's why I create my texture maps. They've always got to be the same size as the texture map. They're in the description, so go and download them. Uh, once you've got them, they're, they're named normal and specular map. So you import the normal here and the specular map in the third. So the normal is always the second and the specular is always the third. And then save. And you're done. This makes your textures look so much better. It makes your mesh look hella good also. It makes everything look more prominent. So big shout out to Memphis Creations for telling me about this because my creations would be still looking dull as hell so thank you for that if you like the video make sure to hit the subscribe button maybe give a like leave a comment and yeah i will see you soon i hope that helps bye